everybody, Game Cool here, and today we are playing the house. I thought, I think I already did this, but the audio was crappy, so I'm doing it over again. Anyway, let's get started. Have some fun. So first we are going to play number one, which is the house. And then we're going to go five years later and play the 2010 version, the house two. Sorry if my voice is a bit crappy, I have a sore throat from recording yesterday, and that's why it's a bit rough. So sorry about that. <laughs> Let's do this. Got the full screen here. A horror game, so. Oh. This deserted house was built in 1970. It was reported that the whole. I didn't even get to finish reading that. Really? I was reading that. are now inside the house. Well, no kidding. First room. The dining room. Good boy. What's this down here? Looks like a happy family, but the mother's a bit darkened. Right here. Basketball scares the shit out of me. What is this? Blameless in the freaking lights again? Oh god! How can you guys I click on the thing? Picture in the head from falling Oh my god. Oh boy, the creepy bathroom.
shit out of me again. I really hope that's water in the tub and not the Doll looks okay. Oh, yeah, the mother does have cancer. Cancer treatment, Friday the 5th. Oh, that's sad, but I was right, though. Click the doll again? No. Click the calendar? Go away. Whatever that is, go away. I hear you. Go away. I hear whatever that is. Go away. It all still seems okay. Oh god! Go away, creepy bitch from the bathtub. Stay away. Mama, stay away. Mama! Stay away! Um, I clicked the doll in that color zone. Saint Martin Scott School. Put an ID card name. Miss Maria. ID code 486-13-27-844-8200. Valid from 6. Valid from July 14th, 1980. Dang. To July 13th, 1983. This looks like an ID from a private school. Could that be her daughter or is that the mother? Hey, 
radio. Stay there. Hello, creepy guy. I'm guessing you're the father. Turn off, turn off. after mama killed herself with poison pills, actually. So she had cancer.
Well, let's start up the house again. Why do you want to go inside it? You are now inside the house. Well, no shit. The first room. Living room. Got a picture of a family. I'm guessing that's the maid, daughter, and father. Daughter's eyes look like they're pure black already. That's creepy. You got a blood stain right there. A bloody footprint. Where? Yeah, no. September 19th, 1964. I can feel something strange in this house. I actually feel it. Since the first day I came to work. Here as a nursemaid. I am so afraid of that thing. Should I quit? What thing? What thing? Well, light switch doesn't work. Made some kind of noise. What about the heater? Nope. It's in there. Don't know. Up here, don't know. Click on the picture again. Maybe? Guessing that's the maid. Lovely! That's so lovely! What a nice touch to the picture and wall. Why not add some blood to this room? Huh, what? You whispered too quietly. I couldn't hear you. What was that? Aid, how are you today? You dropped a little note. Doctor's year of birth. Sometimes she talked alone, sometimes she laughed at night, and sometimes she called somebody. Daughter's not human. Now I understand your pain. Hello, Nurse Zade. How are you today? Holy Bible. 
Okay, yeah. <laughs> oh, yay. Just what we need. The Holy Bible. Like, that's going to save us. And there's blood on it. Nope, I'm not opening the curtain. Nope, there's a body hanging. 
one in there. No. Nope. See, told you. That mattress right there in a corner right here. Oh, the joys. Someone was murdered in bed. Music box, great. Teddy bear's stomach. I hope that was the teddy bear laughing. Do you want to play, young 
Welcome, child. Oh, she wants to play. How cute. You want to play hide and seek? I'll hide. You can count to a million. I'll be waiting. On the other end of the fucking country. <laughs> or on a different planet. Anyway, I can cut the rocket to Mars. <laughs> Write that down so I remember it. If I can find a pen or something. There we go. Okay. So, December 24th, Christmas Eve. Uh, 1963. Okay, so if that's the birthday, you can empty that. Oh, there's a note on She comes every night. Who comes every night, sweet child? She loves playing hide and seek. Aww, I just said I wanted to play hide and seek. You wanna play hide and seek, then? can see better because I turned it up on the screen capture instead of on my actual monitor because I wanted to actually get the end sense of being in a dark creepy room even though I can't see what I'm clicking on but I did that so it can actually scare me even more than it would scare you because I don't want you guys to have a heart attack since this channel is for adults. For the youngest age I would say 17 on up. Well it should actually be 18 on up so 
not exactly channel from this channel, as you all know, with all my sailor costume and that, but... medicine. Oh, Jesus. What's in the door? First registration. Oh, so they had an actual daughter. Maybe the actual daughter was the girl playing with the adopted one. Born during the end of World War II. So, I was born in 1997. I'm 19. At Woodland. Oh, at Woodland Orphanage, where they adopted the other girl. Name of father.
I didn't mean to look at the picture. Sweetheart, I see your hands. Handprints. See your handprints. The conclusion. This house had been the site of a group suicide and has left has been left empty for decades since this house was one of the homes of a small family, father, mother, daughter, and the maid. Something unusual happened in the house. The maid could feel it when she had just moved to work here to look after their daughter. And she also came across something that should not been known about the daughter. That the daughter was not the real daughter of this couple, but she was the orphan that the couple had adopted. The maid also knew that the couple used to have their own child before named Arlene or something like that. Elrena or something. Al Rena, I think it is. Yeah, Al Rena. But before the maid learnt about this family, she was killed. The stepdaughter also did not know that the couple, her parents, whom she stayed with, had their own child before. And she often saw a long-haired girl during the night time. And where's Al Rena, the real daughter of the couple? Oh. Arlena was born in 1947, severely disabled. What? The couple raised her for some time, but knew that she must have been suffering and would never have a good future. Oh, that's sick. Just because you're disabled doesn't mean you're suffering. I have disabilities. I have ADHD, OCD. I know what it's like. Hell, my nephew is severely autistic. But you don't see me, like, I don't like people who just give their kids up for adoption just because they're slow. That's messed up, that's sick. So the couple poisoned her and put her dead body into the safe. Ew! Putting the code as Elrena's birth year. Oh, that's sick. 
Ever since then, that room has been locked and no one has ever been in there. Time went by and the couple adopted a child, but they never forgot what they had done in the past and were sometimes still confronted with Arlena. Alrena. Finally, the family all decided to commit suicide, but Alrena's spirit is still there in the house. She has grown up. She has not been dead as she wanted to live. Oh, God. Sick people. Is this a true story? Oh, it's just the conclusion. Unless it is a true story, then that's just sick. Well, that's it for today. We played the house and the house too. So everybody have a great afternoon. It is currently 1.21 p.m. Standard Central East, uh, Central Time, U.S., here in Iowa, and I will all see you in the next video. Anyway, have a good time. Summer's coming up. Don't forget to check out my Facebook page, The Game of Cool. <laughs> I do Kiss Me Cools and all that kind of stuff. So check out my Twitter and all that. should be in the description below. And I will see you in the next video, and have fun. Cools out. Peace. Oh, the joys of life. Peace.